morning, good morning all. It's so wonderful to be with you once again on this morning, just to encourage you and give you a word of hope so that your day will be prosperous and you can fulfill the things that you need to fulfill all day on today. We're just grateful that God allowed us to wake this morning and to be able to see all the good things that he has for us on today. No matter what your day might look like, um, Believe that God is going to answer every problem and he's going to deal with every situation and he's going to take you through. All the ideas that you have, you will be able to accomplish those things, whether it's now or later, but you will be able to com accomplish those things with the help of the Lord. So many times we grow up um, as children, we have all different kind of ideas of what we want to be. Uh, we have all of these imaginations of what we can do, what we can accomplish. We go to school. Some people go to school, go to college, or you learn a trade to be able to fulfill the desires that you have within you as a child. And then something happens where when you start to getting older, you forget about those things, you push those things aside, or you say, I can't do it. It's not going to happen. Well, God will give you the desire of your heart if you lean and trust in him and believe in him. And then we have to begin to really talk to the Lord and tell the Lord what these things are that we desire to do. Because the scripture says that if we are within him, he says, I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can do those things because of the strength of the Lord. Now, just like we have issues, a lot of issues will come up and make us go backwards and push us back. Instead of we climbing through those issues, we'll allow our issues, the issues of life to push us backwards. So therefore, we don't accomplish the things that we want to accomplish when we grow up. Even after we get grown, we begin to do different things. And because issues of life come up, we push them back. I said, well, I can't do it. Never mind. Forget about it. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to accomplish those things. It'll never happen. Well, it can happen because it's the faith that you walk in. It says faith without works is dead. You have to put forward some effort into accomplishing those things. Now, just like the woman with the issue of blood, we're going to read from Mark, the fifth chapter, the 24th verse to the 34th verse. It says, and Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood 12 years, and has suffered many things of many physicians, and has spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment for he said if i for she said if i may touch but his clothes i shall be made whole and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague and jesus immediately knowing him in himself that virtue had gone out of him turned him about in the press and said, who touched me? And his disciples said unto to him, thou seest the multitude thronging thee and saying thou who touched me? And he looked around about to see, to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole in of thy plague. Be whole of thy plague. And so many, so many times we fail to push forward and to allow God to help us through whatever it is that our issues are. We all have issues. Some of us have relationship issues. 
We have money issues. We have job issues. We have children issues. We have sibling issues. We have house issues. We have car issues. We have all these issues going on. Just plain issues of life. We're all dealing with the uh, uh, the uh, virus issue. Now they talk about another strand coming. We all got issues, 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 issues. All of us have issues and we're trying to get through those issues of life. So therefore we have to throng in. We have to go after God, go after him. It's not in the touching of his garment that made her whole. It was her faith. Because she felt like if I could touch it, I believe, I know, I have no doubt I will be made whole. What are issues? Something that comes, comes or goes or flow from. This woman had an issue 12 years. Some of us can't take an issue two minutes, but she dealt with an issue for 12 years. And guess what? She wasn't a, a poor woman. It stated that she spent all that she had. So she must have spent all of her savings. No doubt, every dime that she had. It didn't say she borrowed. It didn't say she went to the bank and took out a loan. It says she spent all her earnings. So she had stuff saved up and she spent it all. She went from doctor to doctor. And some of us, we go to doctors to doctors. We go to friend to friend. We talk to this one, talk to that one, talk to the other, talk to this. And nothing is still resolved. We have to talk to the Lord about our issues. And then restrictions. She had restrictions. Restrictions is something that holds you down, something that controls you, something that will make you go backwards. Her issue of blood was holding her down. It made her hide. Sometimes our issues will make us go and hide. Hide in our house. Hide within ourselves. Which will bring on depression and everything else. But if we get out of that and go forward to God with those issues, it can be handled. If this woman with this issue of blood had accepted the restrictions being placed in her, or on her, she would have never, ever been healed. You can't allow these issues and these things to restrict you and keep you captive where you can't move forward in the things that you want to do. And also, if the woman with the issue of blood had allowed the failures of her past attempts by going to doctors after doctors to be healed and to overcome these situations, this, this bleeding issue, um, she would have never, never been healed, but she didn't allow that to capture her and keep her down. She, like I said, she wasn't a poor woman. So, but then also all that she had still didn't resolve the issues. What did she do? She went out of the norm. She said, I'm getting out of this house. I know people are going to be talking about me because they know I got issues because you know how people talk. In your community, people talk about what you're doing or what you are and what you're not and what you're going through. She said, I don't care. I'm going to break the norm. I am getting out of this house. I'm going to go after this man that I hear so much about. And if we would do the same thing, go after God. Because we know about him. We hear about him. Now you hear, you know, but do you have a relationship? She said within herself, I'm going after this man. And I'm going to get what I know that I can get. I'm, I know he has a cure. And I heard so much about the different healings that went forth. I'm going to go get mine. And this is what we got to do. We got to go get ours. Go get yours. It doesn't matter. Go get it. And then Jesus' question was, who touched me? He already knows what you have need of. But the point is, are you going to touch him? Are you going to have a relationship with him? Are you going to let him deal with your issues? Are you going to let him pick you up? Are you going to let him change your mindset? It says that you have to change your mindset on the things that you want. Even in God, you have to change your mindset. Lord, I want a higher walk with you. I want to be more than this that I see. I want to be more in you, God. So you have to go after those things. 
So who touched me? And he didn't condemn her, condemn her either. He said to her, daughter, thy faith has made you whole. He told her to go in peace. If we want peace of God, we have to go after him. We have to go after him. And we have to remember that it is the Lord who gives us the power to go after our wealth, after the things that we want in life. Some of you have so many things down in you. You are an entrepreneur. You're an artist. You're a musician. You have all of these different abilities and you're just sitting on it. You know, you have a way to, you can come up with something and you can send, you can go um, on this, this talk show. I can't think of it right now, but you can go on it and help them to get them to help patent what it is that you want. Go for it. Go for it. Right now, I am so out of my comfort zone. Uh, thanks to Pastor McLemore. He really has pushed me out here. And I am so out of my element right about now. Yes, I can talk one-on-one. -on -one. I feel really comfortable. But then also, this is God's doing and is well-pleasing in my sight. And I love the Lord and I love what he is doing in my life. And then also in Psalm 710, it says, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting. Lift your head up and move forward in God. Lift your head up and go after that job promotion. Go for it. What can they do? What can they say? No. Okay, you say, they say no today. Try it again next week. Say no next week. Try it again. It might take you 10 years, but if you seek after that promotion, do everything that you're supposed to do, to get that promotion, better yourself, brush up on your skills, you'll get the position. You will get it. So lift up your head. Don't keep holding your head down just because somebody said no. Because that one no or that two no's, one day is going to turn into a yes. Go after it. Go get it. And then the songs come to my mind after that. Uh, before I go to the songs, it says, um, when Jesus asked the question, right away, we know that grace, he has grace and mercy upon the woman. And the faith and the need to act on it, she had that. She had the faith, so she acted upon it. And her persistence and her perseverance, she went after it. She was persistent. She knew it could happen to her. And then the power in sharing your testimony, the power in sharing our testimony will help somebody else and boost somebody else to go get what it is they want to get. And Isaiah 43 and 19 says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Go get it. God has a new thing for you. He is setting you up for new things, bigger things, brighter things. Go get it. Throw away the old key and pick up the other, the new key and unlock the door. Go for it. Have faith in God and know that God will take you where you want to go. But remember to honor him in everything that you do and you say, and he'll give it to you. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge who he is. Build a relationship with him so that you can move forward in him. And then the things that you desire in your heart, the talents and the gifts that God put down within you, you will accomplish those things. You will go after those things. And then people will see somebody's going to come along and push you and boost you along and help you to get to where you need to go. Remember, do what God wants you to do. Father God, Lord, we thank you and we bless you and we praise and we magnify your name. Lord, we glorify you, God. We thank you on today, oh God, for allowing us to wake up and to be able to go after the things that you have assigned our hands to do, whether it's on our job or in our home or in the school. Lord, we just thank you or in the church Lord, we thank you how you're going to put our hands to those things to do. It said, put your hands to the plow and don't look back. Lord, we're not going to look back, but we're going to walk by faith. 
Hallelujah. We had the faith to believe and to know that we're going to do these things and we can accomplish all of these things because of you. Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our sins on today, oh God, and blot out our transgressions, oh God, and allow us to move forward in you, oh God, because of your, because of our faith. We thank you for the forgiveness of, of our sins. <clears throat> Lord, we thank you and we glorify you, O oh God. Lord, you have not put us to be ashamed, but you allow us to move forward in you. And Lord, we thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah, that promotions come from above and not underneath. Lord, we thank you because <coughs> your word says that we are above and not beneath. We are blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we walk out. We're blessed when we come in. Lord, we're blessed beyond measures, oh God. And Lord, you promised that you will uh, uh, allow us to go after those things. <coughs> and the word says, should I pursue? Yes, go get it. And Lord, we thank you for your word that tells us to go forth. Go get it. And Lord, we're going to go forth in you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Because you're going to give us these four strands of in how to go get the income. Lord, we thank you for streams, how we're going to go get that income. Lord, we thank you, oh God, because you put that mindset in us that we're going to go forth and we're going to do it. We're going to create things. Hallelujah. We thank you for the creative ability to go out and get. Lord, we thank you for how you allow us to be strong in you. It says be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Lord, we thank you for being strong in you. Lord, we thank you for the power that you have given us to even go forth in you. Lord, we thank you because you're going to take us from strength to strength and glory to glory. Lord, we thank you for how we're going to come upon somebody else and how our iron, our, our iron's gonna sharpen each other. Our tools gonna sharpen each other. That we're gonna move forward in ministry. We're gonna move forward in the assignment that you have called us to. We thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, God. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for lifting up our heads. Hallelujah. Say, lift up your head, all ye gates, and be lifted up. Lord, thank you for being the lifter of our heads, oh God. Lord, we thank you because our strength lies in you. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that we have strength in you. We thank you, oh God. We have joy, joy unspeakable, full of glory and flowing over. We thank you for the flowing of love. We thank you for the flowing of peace. Lord, you told us that you'll keep our minds in perfect peace if we are mind and stay on thee. Because we trust in you, oh God. We thank you for that mindset to have peace. We'll be the peacemaker. No matter where we walk, we will be the peacemaker. Even when things come up to make us fly off the handle, we're going to take control of it. And we're going to be the peacemaker. Lord, we thank you for giving us that peace. We thank you for giving us the ability to love you more, to search you more. Hallelujah. To trust you more. And for that, God, we thank you and we'll glorify your name. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah. Come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. There's no greater love than the love of the Father. There's no greater love than the love of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We even thank you for putting his arms around us and giving us that big hug that we need on today. Lord, we thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, help me raise these songs to give you strength to move on on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, 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 <clears throat> what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Jesus, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are, because you're my Savior, 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 what a wonder you are, Savior, 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 what a wonder you are, Savior, 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 what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. For somebody, he's a healer, healer, healer. 
What a wonder you are. Healer, healer, healer. What a wonder you are. Healer, healer, healer. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Yes, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. We praise and glorify you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, God. We thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We glorify you, O oh God. Hallelujah. As another song says, I found the answer. When I learn to pray with faith to guide me along the way, the sun is shining on me each day, cause I found the answer when I learn to pray take the bible with you read it every day learn to trust in jesus and don't forget to pray learn to lean and trust him because he will take you through when the others fail you, he'll be a friend to you. Because I found the answer when I learned to pray. With faith to guide me along the way. The sun is shining on me each day because I found the answer when I learned to pray. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go and remember, learn to pray because men are to always pray and not to faint. We're encouraging you, reminding you that on Wednesday evenings, at 7 o'clock p.m., Life Restoration will be in Bible study. Get on the link and let's study and know more about the Lord. And then let's not forget that on Sunday morning worship, our praise and worship service begins at 9 o'clock, the first prayer. And then we go right on into praise and worship and hear what thus saith the Lord. So if you don't have a church home, come on down to Life Restoration Church 136 First Street, where the pastor is Robert McLemore Sr. And we praise God for this young man because he is given the word of God, not sugarcoating it, but giving, giving it to you just like you need to get it straight down. And we thank you for that. And we're asking you to always remember to write it down. Success is on me. No matter what it is, you are successful in it. Put, come on, write it in there. Write it down, write it down. Success is on me. And with that, I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Come on now, write it down. Give me those thumbs up. Give me those hearts. Come on, come on, come on. Success is on me. God bless you. Remember to keep the first family in prayer. Pastor McLemore, Robert McLemore, Lady Sharon McLemore, and the children. God bless you. Be blessed on today. Remember, success is on me. Bless you.